Dr. Matt from Vet Ranch in San Antonio, Texas. We're gonna be talking about how to determine if a dog is an ideal body weight. And so Bella is a pretty ideal body weight. We've been giving her good nutrition. What I like to see in a dog is I like to see their belly tuck up right here. So you have her chest right here. This is where her ribs in, and then her belly kind of tucks up and you don't want it to just be flat across here because that flat will be all taken up by fat. So she has a nice tuck here um, and I, you should be able to feel the ribs but not see them, which you can't see them on her, but if you feel her, you can feel her ribs. When dogs start getting overweight, you can't feel the ribs anymore and that means they're hiding under like an inch of fat and you don't want that. When a client brings in a dog that's overweight, the first thing I ask them to do is start measuring the food every day. They need to know how much food they're giving. Um, every dog is different be it breed, be it size, be it age. And so it's hard for me to just say that dog needs X amount of food. But if they start measuring it and they know every day how much food the dog is getting, then we can adjust it to make the ideal body weight. I like to do it really slowly because that makes sure that you don't get into any health risk with losing weight too fast. So if your dog is overweight, make sure to cut out all the treats, cut out all the table scraps. You can actually use their dog food as treats. And so when they do something good, when they go outside and go to the bathroom, when they sit and they stay, you can give them one little kibble of dog food. Your dog will love it because they think it's a treat and you don't, you're, not, you're not giving them an excessive amount of calories. I'm Dr. Matt. Be sure to check out our Facebook page at Real Rated Red.